March 14, 2014, Logitech launched the original Logitech G502 as part of the Gamer G family. This mouse was a huge success due to its features, an ergonomic mouse for right-handers with 11 customizable buttons and full weight control. Then came the G502 Protea Spectrum in 2016, and it was followed by the G502 Hero in autumn 2018. There were no significant innovations here apart from the 16K Hero sensor, and the duration of the primary buttons, some design highlights, and the braided USB cable. In May 2019 the brand released another update, the Logitech G502 Lightspeed. The Lightspeed version brings some minor improvements, but also wireless connectivity. Design The G502 Lightspeed is the clone of the original G502. It has a size of 132mm in length, 75mm in width, and 40mm in height. It weighs 114 grams, 7 grams less than the original wired version. It's built with good quality hard plastic and features an improved ergonomic design. It is thus very comfortable with all three common types of grip, depending on the size of your hand. It has a matte and glossy black finish, making it stand out when the light shines on it. The sides on the other hand, benefit from an elastomer coating, adorned with small triangles providing a textured surface that ensures optimal grip. They are also curved so you can better pinch the mouse, making it easier to lift and reposition it with ease. The slimming treatment of the body also helps with handling. When it comes to buttons, the G502 Lightspeed is still one of the mice with the most buttons. It incorporates 11 switches spread over 8 buttons and the wheel. Both main buttons benefit from Omron D2 FCF 7N switches, guaranteed for 50 million clicks. They are very responsive, with a good rebound, especially thanks to the manufacturer's specific spring pretension mechanism. We measured an actuation force of about 35 centinewton, one of the lowest among mice, and perfectly suited for competitive gaming. The clickable and tiltable notch scroll wheel is one of the best we have ever used, it's the same one we find in the G900. Beneath the scroll wheel we can see two buttons, the first changes the mode of the scroll wheel, free spinning and notched, while the second can show us the battery level by default. Next to the main left button, we find another two buttons that change the DPI by default. On the left side of the mouse, which is almost entirely made of black rubber, we have a small thumb rest and the two side buttons. In front of them, we can see the sniper button, perfectly positioned to be pressed with the tip of the thumb. In the front, we find the micro USB port for wired connection and charging. Of course, there is also the option to charge the mouse wirelessly via Logitech's PowerPlay mat. At the bottom, there is the on-off switch, and two compartments, one for the wireless dongle, and one where we can place metal weights to customize the weight of the mouse to our liking. Despite this being a wireless mouse, the G502 Lightspeed also enjoys RGB lighting of its logo, and its colors can be synchronized with that of the three LEDs positioned above the thumb buttons. Features The G502 Lightspeed features an ARM processor and internal memory where you can store up to five profiles. The input lag was measured at 1 millisecond when the polling rate was set at 1000 Hz. It is also possible to limit the polling rate to 500, 250 or 125 Hz. The 16,000 dpi Hero optical sensor shows the same precision of the PixArt PMW3366, the one used in the G502 Protea Spectrum, but has an increased energy efficiency by a factor of 10. This Hero sensor also offers its own tracking algorithm that eliminates post-processing effects, such as pointer acceleration, smoothing, or other filters across the entire DPI bandwidth. PixArt's new PMW3391 sensor now features a native resolution of up to 18,000 dpi, but that offers no added value to the players. With such high sensitivity, any advantage is lost due to human limitations. Although that is technically impressive, it is always advisable to choose resolutions in the lower 4-digit or upper 3-digit range in favor of precision. As we said before, you can recharge the mouse via the included cable in about 2 hours. The G502 Lightspeed can then be used wirelessly for about 48 hours. Given the mouse's performance and weight, this is a great result. Logitech finally replaced the gaming software with G-Hub, while previous devices had the option to choose between them, the G502 Lightspeed can no longer be configured via gaming software. Instead, the device prompts the user to install G-Hub. In addition to the classic options to adjust resolution, polling rate, 
and button assignment, GHub also offers you the possibility to record individual macro sequences. You can also assign a secondary function to every button, except the two main ones. Performance The first time you take the G502 Lightspeed in hand, you will love the way your thumb fits perfectly and comfortably in the position designed for it. Even after several days of use, it is something that never goes unnoticed. The only problem is that when you get used to it, all other mice seem to miss something. The button layout is also optimal, but if you have a small hand then the sniper button will be a few millimeters further away. In fast-paced shooters, the first thing I noticed was that the mouse was extremely accurate and perfectly responsive, no trace of lag whatsoever, and that the ability to game wirelessly was something I had never appreciated enough. I was also grateful for the ability to both change the DPI on the fly, and instantly lower the sensitivity for better aim with the sniper button. Similar to the wired version the G502 Lightspeed is a hybrid. It is particularly suitable for fast shooters thanks to its precise sensor, although my recommendation for this genre goes to the even lighter and more minimalist Logitech G Pro Wireless. The G502 Lightspeed however, is also a great mouse for MOBAs and RPGs, thanks to the numerous extra buttons. Logitech's customization software is quite easy to use, and highly recommended if you need a mouse with a large number of programmable buttons. Verdict The G502 Lightspeed delivers on its promise, it's the same old excellent G502 hero, with the added versatility of wireless connectivity. If this wasn't already enough, the G502 Lightspeed improves over its predecessor by adding a better wheel and reducing the weight, while adding a battery with a very long autonomy. This is an outstanding high-end device for gamers who don't want to lose anything while transitioning to wireless. The only big catch is the price. The Logitech G502 Lightspeed comes with a premium asking price, which is a lot to ask for, once you realize that the wired version costs less than half. There are cheaper options out there in the form of the Corsair Dark Core RGB SE, or even the Corsair Ironclaw RGB Wireless, but, if you like the G502 Hero, you'll love the G502 Lightspeed.